guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Gav, aka Senor Bedek, and today we're gonna see if we can get this thing started. Once and for all, the little turbo Myra. Things have moved on since the last time you've ever seen it. Like I say, engines in the car, and uh, we have most auxiliaries on. So uh, turbo is now on. Made this little uh, turbo line here for the oil, and uh, I put on a different. Uh, this had a different actuator. So this actuator's a one-bar actuator because we want all the boost. You know what I mean? And uh, the stock cast down pipe cut that off, and I've welded this two and a half inch pipe on here. As you can see, it's huge. Uh, compared to the standard size, which is like, you know, look, look at that, size of my finger, tiny, really, really small, really restrictive, and we don't want that, we want all the power. So, that's all coming back together again, um, axles and everything are in, uh, just need to put the radiator in, uh, we need to fill up the coolant system, make sure there's no leaks, and we'll see if we can get this thing started. What I'd also like to do though is try and make a start at least on this downpipe, in fact that'll probably be the majority of this video and um, so we'll get the massive saw out and we'll cut some pie cuts because I don't have any um, mandrel bends for this and basically we're going to come down here, round here, down and down through that hole there. I'm not really sure what we're going to do with regards to um, uh, silencers or that, I've got a couple of options, there's some down here. That's a big, big bore exhaust, uh, so I might end up doing that, sticking that on the back of it, but um, yeah, I want to keep it half subtle, half subtle anyway, uh, but yeah, so here we go, we'll get into the video and uh, hope you enjoy it. So, I've stuck this in place, this is obviously this Honda Civic radiator I bought for it, however, the outlet pipe down there is right up against the gearbox, and... Hmm, it's going to take a bit of modification to get in and I can't I can't do that today I don't I don't have the time to do that today. So this will be a future video and um, no doubt We'll basically move that over to there and uh, Yeah, probably put the right size pipe in there as well because that's a bit bigger than the the Myra pipe I mean, look, This is tiny like just fit my thumb in there and that's about it. So uh, yeah, we'll probably just stick in fact Not probably we will just stick the stock one on it's quite bad condition. I mean, it's I don't even want to touch it because it'll disintegrate, but uh, yeah, we'll stick this one on, at least we've got a radiator, could fill it up, see this thing, and hopefully it starts. Hmm. <coughs> that stuff should do. Splash some of this coolant in here. Try not to spill. Hi. She's full, so... Uh, I'll probably leave this cap off just now because uh, there's no doubt going to be air in the system. So uh, what we can do now, we'll put on the battery, woo! And uh, yeah, where's the keys? Look at this little cutie pie's keys. Let's get this thing and see, see if we can go for a start. In fact, I'll set the camera up over there. Let's go for it. Wish me luck. Warm up a little bit, and uh, we'll see if we can get a little heat cycle in it. Woo! <laughs> see ya. Love you. So we're slowly getting up to temperature, and she's idling away nice. Actually, it shakes a lot less than it did before, which is surprising considering the mounts are solid. So maybe just running smoother. It looks like things we've got a leaky radiator, so, so we'll need to sort that for sure. Yes, so as you guys seen, <coughs> she's running good. So uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the stock oil pressure sensor and I'm going to stick in an oil pressure gauge just temporarily just now, just to make sure it's got oil pressure really. Because um, you don't want to be running it without it. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Um, so yeah, so everything's looking really good. I'm proper happy with it. And... Uh, <coughs> Yeah, let's get on to cutting bits of exhaust for the downpipe. And guys, while I'm at it, I want to give a massive shout out to Jacob, right? So, a couple of you guys have seen Jacob on my channel, he's come here a couple of times. 
uh, to help me out. We were building the Turbo M uh, MX-5 for him. It's like on a speed we know, and it's like got a wee TDO4 turbo, and we're doing it proper DIY budget. Um, so we're trying to do the full thing, including getting an ECU for under a thousand pounds to have like a 200 horse Mia. So it'd be awesome. So anyway, he surprised me the other day there, and uh, it means a lot to me this, eh? Because he's been an OG subscriber of mine for a long time, and uh, he likes the Baytech branding, so <laughs> he's got this made. Yes! How fucking sick is that? <laughs> so now, the back of me, we're going to have some Baytech branding. <laughs> now that is proper cool, I love it. So, uh, thank you very much for that, Jacob, man. Proper, proper made my day. Um, made my week, made my year mate. I love it how you guys get involved and like to watch these videos and get involved in the whole sort of community. Like we all chat and we all have a bit of banter in the comments and stuff like that so feel free to get involved because I'm, I'm personal you know I'll get in, I'll get back to you guys I'll speak to you. I'm not some sort of elusive YouTuber which I'll never get back in touch so yeah guys love yous all uh, and let's get back to it. <coughs> there we have it so some pie cuts cut with this old saw and the raggedy edges so we really need to give a good clean up and yes I hate pie cuts <coughs> there we go sorted all cut and uh, I've grinded them all down so they're about the right shape and size and no burrs and stuff like that so yeah happy that took about an hour I hate pie cuts I hate them with a passion right so what I'm doing here is I've just shoved the tack with a good old MIG and uh, aye, so I'll tack these up to the sort of shape I'm wanting and see about fitting it up. Yes, we're getting somewhere at least anyway so uh, as you can see sort of tacked up in place and down this direction and she'll come down here and head along there. Just angles and you guys know I'm so bad when it comes to angles. I have noticed though that my oil feed pipe is leaking a little bit so I'm maybe need to make a better solution to that. Right, so we've made our way down here and down here to a little V-band so it's in the right sort of place, it's in the right sort of space and um, so I just need to kind of carry on. Oh, it stinks of B.O. in this car. <laughs> right. Oh she's loud now. It's almost louder without the downpipe to be honest. Oil pressure to the max. Do you guys remember that I've done the oil pressure modification? Just gets the oil pressure right up there, so she's got a nice fill. Let's get this thing out here and we'll park it up outside. video things up and running started on the downpipe which is buzzing about that I need to wait for some things uh, to come for the wide band the boss and stuff like that and uh, yeah can't wait to use this thing as a daily <laughs> right guys you just take care stay safe and we'll catch you in the next vid cheers <laughs>